Do you see how in this area right here, there's a softer focus than this area right here? Well, I want to do that in the rest of this painting, um, in particular the wings on the left side, towards the edges especially. Uh, you can see here in the water, I've done a bit of soft focus for the water that's further away from the bird, but I'm going to work on that some more because that's only one layer of paint. But I also want to put some soft focus down here on the bird and sort of bring it up into focus as you go up the bird. So the way I'm going to achieve this is with a technique called couching. Couching refers to applying a thin layer of oil to the surface of your painting before adding fresh paint. Couching makes spreading the paint easier, and to me at least, it lends itself to creating a soft focus. So the way that I'm using this technique could be considered a type of glazing, and personally I would only use couching as a final layer on a painting because I don't want to destabilize the painting by putting extra medium between layers of paint. This is what I'll be using for the thin layer of oil. It's Gamelin's or fine linseed oil. I put a small amount of the oil into a shot glass and now I'll dip my paintbrush in. I just want you to see how little oil I'm actually gonna use. And then I'll put a little bit of ivory black paint into that oil and mix it up and get the excess off on a paper towel and bring it to the canvas to apply a thin layer. I'll start zoomed in and slowly zoom out so you can see how not dramatic this couching technique is. It, it really is like glazing, except I'm going to be adding undiluted paint into this tinted oil layer while it's still wet. By the way, you don't have to tint the oil. I think most people actually don't. I'm just choosing to do so because there's going to be some extra shadow down in this area anyways. These are the brushes that I'll be using in the next part where I'm putting paint directly into the thin layer of tinted oil. They are 5 over 0 round brushes and 1 8 inch angular brushes. Below is the paint that I'll be using, mainly shades of grey created with Michael Harding's Ivory Black and Foundation White. So I hope you can see that there's just a lot of subtle texture that I'm adding. Uh, you can see some white being added and then some gray. So highlights and shadows just being overlapped. A lot of the time I'll go over the same area again and again. And because I've put down a thin layer of oil that I'm putting paint into, I'm not really getting any hard edges. And this lends itself to this area of the bird, its belly, where its feathers are really light and wispy and soft. And now moving up to the wing, I tinted the oil a little more just to get extra shadow in certain areas. And then I'm adding some highlights with undiluted white paint and some more shadows with less diluted dark paint. So you can see here how couching lends itself to sort of shaping um, shadows and the form itself that you're trying to paint. I also added a little uh, phthalo blue into these shadows of the lower wing to give it some extra dimension. Now moving into the water, I just put down a thin layer of oil with a little ivory black and now I'm painting into it with the darker shades of grey. You can see here a tinted layer of oil being added with a little more blue. It's pretty even so now I'm adding in opaque fresh paint and again it's a lot easier to not get hard edges when I have a very thin layer of oil on the canvas. Here I'm just adding some smaller details with a 5 over 0 round brush. And we're just about good to go. Kind of doing the finishing touches.
Here's a before and after comparison. So you can see that there's like a lot of little subtle details that were added, but they all add up to make a really big difference. I hope this demo was helpful. Feel free to ask any questions below.